Fanatics, um, super simple video today. I finally got my registration in the mail. I feel like it was an expensive mod uh, for how much it cost, but I'm happy that's on there. Uh, the last video I made a few days ago was pretty good. I got some good comments um, from some of the viewers, and uh, I don't think that some people knew that my truck was the one with the 22s. Uh, I think when they thought I was comparing the 17 and the 22s, they thought I just picked them at random. Um, because people said some interesting thing about the 22s, like uh, like this guy, Joe K. So Joe K said, 17s for sure. Anyone who puts 20 plus inch rims on their truck deserves a swift kick in the nuts. My question to Joe K would be, uh, does this uh, stand for people who bought them brand new with the, like the Platinums and the 1794s with the 20 inch wheels factory? Do, they, do these people, they qualify for the kick in the nuts or is it just people who went and did it on their own? That's the question. Uh, anyways, thanks Joe K, I appreciate the, uh, the comment. Either way, uh, I, I value people's honesty and I agree. I think the 17 inch combo looks fantastic. So I get it. I get it, Joe K. One thing I did notice when I was watching back that video is my tires, despite being just a few weeks old, uh, look like crap. Uh, I'm not a big tire shine guy, but I really think they need it. So this is the stuff we're using today. Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. This is absolutely the best stuff I've found, in my opinion. Uh, it does not attract dust, it lasts the longest, it looks the best, it smells so good, you can hardly keep yourself from eating it while you're using it. Um, let's throw it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the lips of these things with masking tape just to make it a little easier for the application. Uh, we'll slap a bunch of this stuff on and see if it looks better. Let's do this. So it wouldn't be a big deal if you got this stuff on the wheel, it would wipe right off, but I just figured um, now I can just pull the tape off when I'm done, I don't even have to worry about cleaning it up. So there's a few different applicators, different ways you can use this stuff. Um, I find I usually just take a, a old towel, cut a big chunk off of it, and I feel like it's the best because then you can manipulate it into the cracks and stuff like that. So, all right, we're, we're doing the tire shine thing now. Anyways, one last thing I, I recommend right now, since everybody's not driving their vehicles as much, and this goes for me also, especially me, because this thing does not move very much. 
is uh, I've actually heard a lot about mice and rodents and stuff getting in your engine. So I think it's good to always, uh, every so often, which I've never done before, but I think it's good to go ahead and look in your engine and I'll show you the spots where you should look um, and see if there's rodents because they can really mess stuff up. All right, so I usually just take my flashlight and, and get in here. It's good to look kind of by the firewall right here. Um, this is where they're gonna, you're just gonna see piles of debris, a little bit of leaves, dirt, stuff like that. Um, I've, I've seen a few articles about it recently and then I've heard about it just from people I know on, um, on the internet about rodents getting into vehicles lately. And I've never had any rodent or any rat mice issues. I've never even seen a dropping around this house as long as I've lived here. But um, today I took the cover off my Blackstone griddle in the backyard and it looked like there was some rodent activity in there. So I thought, you know what, I better, I better just go ahead and look in the engine bay but no this thing this thing is clean there is nothing you'll see a little start uh, you'll see chewed up wires like i said clumps of dirt stuff like that no we're looking good looking very good well that's interesting it looks like we so you can see there's a cold max and cold minimum line on the power steering fluid and you know i just replaced my rack so um yeah and we were, did not replace the fluid when i did it because it was a real quick and easy job so uh no big deal whatever but I, I don't have any power steering fluid here. I should run out and go get some though. Normally I wouldn't care, but I just put that new rack in. I should probably give it some fluid. All right, I know what I need to do. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, got the tires shined up, got the power steering fluid, checked for mice, got the registration on there. I feel like we got some Tundra stuff done today and that always makes me feel good. Anyways, drop a like. Subscribe if you're not. Have a good rest of the day and there'll be more videos out soon. Thanks for watching. whatsoever I hope they're on their way anyways uh, I really like the orange color I, I had a few options but I think I chose the right color uh, this paint's so beautiful I'm even thinking about throwing a coat of wax on it but uh, I do I do think I made the right choice having it delivered to the house this thing was pretty heavy I didn't even have to lug it all uh, I just had to find a creative way to get it in the backyard that was pretty much all the energy uh, I had to put out so happy I waited for it but I need those floor jacks to arrive and then we'll go ahead and jump on into that uh, I'm excited so we're just waiting